And we begin here tonight with the allegations against a local school teacher bullying five and six year old kids in class. One father telling us his child broke down in tears every day. And that's when he and his wife decided to record what was going on tonight. Wendy Lane with those tapes and the response just coming in. Do I say? Tumas Valerio says his daughter used to love school, but after they moved to Spring Hill, that all changed. After the first day, a daughter came home crying, but we got her to, to tell us that the teacher was mean and she was very loud. Valerio and his wife went to the principal at Pine Grove Elementary, who they say explained the teacher who's been with the district for 13 years was naturally loud and their daughter needed time to adjust. Weeks and weeks passed. Every single day was the same. Came home crying every morning. She would cry that she had to go to school. He says after confirming with the sheriff's office it was perfectly legal, his wife hid a tiny recording device in his daughter's hair to find out what was happening. You know, maybe it wasn't the teacher, maybe other kids were bullying her, maybe there was something that nobody knew about. And what they captured in a six hour period shocked them. Stop, stop, stop talking! For once in your life, stop talking! Why would you put an open drink in your backpack? It's common sense. What's going to happen to a drink that is open that goes into your backpack? And the entire time that she's in class, the teacher is just yelling and screaming at these children. And it's not just that she's loud, she's like a bully to them. I have 11 ones and one one? No, that's wrong. Is that to a waste No, obviously you don't understand it. Valerio says he took the recordings to the principal who would not listen to them. We reached out to the school district to find out what they were doing about the situation. They gave us a statement that says in part, the school administration conducted their investigation and the teacher was disciplined in accordance with our school board policy and procedures. The principal has been in contact with the parents multiple times times and has offered several solutions, including to change the child's teacher. But Valerio says he doesn't want his daughter at that school as long as the teacher is still there. You, know, you just don't treat children like that. If that's the way you feel and the way you have to act, this is not the job for you. In Spring Hill, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.